Okay, so let me state the bleeding obvious. Destiny 2 is bang in trouble. To save the game from plunging into the abyss of no return, Bungie released a development roadmap detailing how the game will change over the coming months. The January update introduced Masterwork Armor and Raid Perks, a minor distraction to say the least. The February update, aka the Emblem Hunter update, was about as fun as a burning orphanage. And that brings us to the March update, or the Go Faster update as Bungie likes to call it. It drops on the 27th. We're getting 6v6 Iron Banner, 8 man rumble, unique nightfall specific loot, and significant sandbox changes. The question is, will it stop the rot? You see, these days, Destiny 2 has fierce competition. Fortnite, Monster Hunter, Warframe, Anthem, and the newly announced Black Ops 4 and Division 2. Can the March update compete? If not, will DLC 2 bring Destiny 2 back from the brink? Or do we have to wait until DLC 3? Well, still, Destiny 3. And by then, will people even care? Like I said, Destiny 2 is bang in trouble. So, can the March 20 27th update, renew interest in the game. Let's find out. Oh no, it got boring. So why is Bungie calling the March update the Go Faster update? Well, because loads of stuff has been buffed to make it go faster. Yes, it really is as simple as that. All Guardian classes now move faster in the air and on the ground. Arc Strider, Sentinel and Striker also move faster while in their supers. And yes, supers now recharge at a quicker rate for everyone. A cooldown reduction of 25% to be precise. Bungie has also buffed mods to make grenade melee and class ability cooldowns faster too. Plus, quicker player resources spawn and power ammo respawns in the crucible. Bungie's goal is to make PvP and Destiny 2 in general a faster paced, more action packed experience and to reduce the time to kill and team shooting. So are there any other crucible shenanigans planned for the March update? Well, yes there is. Competitive PvP, including trials, will no longer have a radar. Why? According to Bungie, this again will help reduce team shooting, reward individual plays and incentivize flanking. Will it work? I'm doubtful. Bungie tried a raiderless trials during a Halloween event in Destiny 1 and it flopped. Reducing team shooting, which is now an ingrained player habit, is not going to be easy. I'm skeptical, but let's see how it goes, I guess. Oh yeah, and enemies now drop their power ammo when you kill them. And like I said earlier, Iron Banner is now 6v6 and Rumble makes a return to 8 player Rumble. Yo, let's hope it doesn't suck balls, because you know, it's going to take more than Rumble to bring players back to the game. And here's some good news for all you Sniper fans. Sniper Flinch has been significantly reduced. In fact, Bungie dropped a cheeky preview video. It's worth bearing in mind that this Sniper Finch reduction is dropping in the May update, not the March update. Nonetheless, let's have a look at it. Okay, so here's a sneak peek of the Sniper tweaks being introduced in the May update. Snipers will flinch way less when taking damage from incoming fire, and you also notice power ammo bricks dropping from defeated foes. Now, this particular feature will be included in the March update. Now, anyone can pick this power ammo up, even your foes. It's worth noting, too, that drop power ammo will eventually disappear, so yeah, you've got to be quick. And snipers aren't the only weapon type being buffed. For example, pretty much all weapon types will have their damage increased in PvE, except assault rifles, which will have decreased range and aim assist. Whether or not this will stop Uriel's gift being a fan favourite remains to be seen. For a full list of all the weapon changes, click the link in the description box below. Now, certain subclasses are also being buffed. Arc Strider will have faster attack animations, faster dodge animations, and an increased range of all attacks. But it's not all good news for hunters. Invisibility is getting nerfed. You will no longer break your enemy's grenade tracking or aim assist while invisible, which will make it easier for them to kill you while you're stealthing about in ninja mode. But to make up for this nerf, invisibility has been increased by one second. As for Dawnblade, well, you now get one additional sword throw, a reduced Icarus dash cooldown, increased super duration from the everlasting fire perk, increased grenade and melee energy per kill from the heat rises perk, and far more accuracy while swift strike is active. Not too shabby. Hopefully, this will finally make Dawnblade a viable PvP subclass. And here's a couple of weapon perk buffs and general tweaks that I found particularly appealing. The Dragonfly perk will have increased damage, increased radius, and stronger visual effects, so popping heads is going to be a whole lot more satisfying. And grenade launchers are getting a wider blast radius about effing time. And that about wraps up the March update. What do you guys think about it? Leave your thoughts below. Now, if you want to soak in every last detail about the March update, check out Bungie's blog post in the description box below. A nice one. Right then, it's now time to turn in two 
215 Iron Banner tokens. Yes, I've been grinding like a complete biatch. Now, to be honest with you, the only thing I want from Lord Saladin is the Iron Banner chest piece. As you can see, I have every other single piece of Iron Banner armor for my Titan. All I want is the chest piece. And yes, I know I could buy it from Lord Saladin, but what's the fun in that? I want it as a random drop from an engram. And yes, I also need all the weapons too, but I'm not too bothered about those. All I really want is the chest piece. So let's just get to opening these and see if I can get that effing chest piece to drop. We got the helmet, not good enough. We want the effing chest piece. And if all else fails, I guess I'll buy it in the end, but I'm going to try and get it as a random drop. I want those weapons too. Oh, there we go. We got a masterwork version of the chess piece that I needed. So that is effing amazing. I don't even need to master work it up. So let's pop that on and complete the set. A Booyakasha complete set of Iron Banner gear and it's all master work too, which is utterly delightful. Now, I actually want to pop on the Iron Banner ornament and let me just tell you this. This took me effing ages to do. Getting grenade and melee kills in the Iron Banner is an absolute pain in the arse. But I did it, so I'm going to apply I'm going to pop that on and let's just see that in all its glory. It actually looks pretty damn sexy as I'm sure you'll agree. I really like the look of the Titan Iron Banner ornaments actually. I've got to say it was a bit of a grind but we got there in the end. Now hold on I almost forgot to get this up to max power too. My OCD will not let me have this as 334. So let's get to maxing this right up. Let's apply this mod a Booyakasha and now let's infuse as well and get this beauty up to 335 and as you can see a full set of 335 iron banner gear i love it i'm now 335 a beautiful let's move the f on you know what i think i'm gonna save my 155 iron banner tokens until the next iron banner but what i'm not gonna save until the next iron banner are these exotic engrams i still do not have sky burner's oath i shit you not i still don't have that exotic weapon so we're gonna go to master raul and see if i can actually get it god Damn. Right then, Master Raoul, we meet again. I have six exotic engrams for you, and I still don't have Sky Burner's Oath. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just get it from a fated engram? Hell no. That's not how Papa Console rolls. I want to get my Sky Burner's Oath from an exotic engram that I've earned in game. So that's exactly what the F we're going to do, hopefully. So, Master Raoul, can I please get Sky Burner's Oath? It's the only weapon that I don't have in the game, the only exotic weapon that I don't have. I don't want that just skyburner's oath like can we please finally get it we got sweet business no that's fucking not what we want we want skyburner's oath okay let's do this shit here we go can we get it we got prometheus lens i genuinely think i it's glitched out for me and i'm not going to get it from an exotic engram that's dropped in game if i get it i don't know what i'll do i will be effing well speechless that is telesto that's not what we need we just need one effing exotic weapon can we please for the love of god get skyburner's oath uh, here we effing well go ho booyaxi shaxi okay we got peacekeepers leg armor i don't actually think i've got peacekeepers before i think that's actually new what does it do let's have a little look at that that's actually new for me uh let's have a look reload stowed submachine guns and allows you to ready them instantly they look awfully bizarre but okay, I'm not really a, a machine gun user, so I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. So at least we got one exotic that I didn't have. But for the love of God, Master Raoul, please, for all that is good and holy, Bungie, why are you not giving me Skyburner's Oath? I want to shoot through Cabal's shields for God's sake. Here we go. Last chance until I actually have a brain aneurysm. A booyaxi chaxi. We got effing Hallow Fire Heart. So the search, the long effing search for Skyburner's Oath, it continues, and I think it's going to continue until the day I effing die. That's how it looks to me anyway. Let's move the F on. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of the video. Now, guys, as we all know, Destiny 2 is pretty dead at the moment, and I don't think it's going to really pick up in any significant way until May when Season 3 and the new DLC draws. But fret not, I'll still round up all the latest, tastiest tidbits of Destiny 2 news for your viewing pleasure. Of course I will. But I'm also working on an everything we know about Anthem video. I want it to be good so I'm gonna take my time. The game has really piqued my interest so I've decided to see how covering it goes on this channel. So I'm counting on your feedback to let me know how you feel about the video when it eventually drops. And as always, thank you so much for your continued support of my content. I just can't say that enough. Sometimes 
I genuinely think I must have the most loyal subscribers on YouTube. Even though Destiny 2 is right in the toilet, you guys tune in, leave a comment and like the video and honestly that's amazing. Now I genuinely do think Destiny 2 will get better in May and September. It's just a question of whether or not people have the patience to wait. I for one am pretty damn sick of playing the waiting game but then again I'm now a gold medal Olympist that ruddy well waiting for Bungie. And guys if you want to know how Iron Banner control is changing in the market update click this image thumbs up if you enjoyed the video subscribe for heaps more destiny content and thank you so much for watching and as always hee 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 until next time guardians